All right, I hope it's warmer where you are. We've been having real crap weather here in Massachusetts. It's cold, it's too cold to open up bees and even look inside. We've had horrible rain and I've been inside all weekend working on hive boxes and building frames and all kinds of things. And I thought this would be a good time for me to make a video to answer a question I often get in the comments and through email. People see my boxes and they see that they're not painted and they wanna know what I do to my boxes to treat my boxes. So in this video, I'm gonna explain why I don't paint my boxes and what I think is a better alternative. I recently saw a funny comment on one of my videos. Someone said, you know, this guy's boxes look pristine and every other beekeeper on YouTube has boxes that look like they've been through a war. Well, the reason for that is twofold. One, I've only been beekeeping for three seasons now. So all my boxes are like one or two or three years old. Some of them are brand new, like last year or this year even. The other reason is that I live in the north and I wrap my hives. So for the winter months, six months of the year, my boxes are not seeing sun or rain or snow or any weather. So they're protected half of the year. The other half of the year, I use these coroplast awnings to keep the sun and the rain off of my hives. So I put these awnings on here the first winter after the very first snowstorm I saw hitting hives, I saw snow piling up on the bottom board here and I thought, well, I've got this scrap laying around. I just put it on top of the hive to keep the snow and the water from dripping down onto the bottom board. So summer rolled around and I left them on because I thought, well, it's given the bees a little bit of shade. It gives them a landing zone for the upper entrance so that when it's raining out or if there's a light rain or even if it's heavy rain, they can come in and get under here and get into that front entrance without getting washed away by rain. And then I realized at, by the end of the summer that this little piece of plastic is protecting the woodenware. So once you get into beekeeping, you start spending a lot of money and you realize you're spending money on a piece of soft wood that you just are going to sit outside in the weather in the sun, in the snow, in the rain, and you wanna protect that investment and make it last as long as you can. So what most people do is go out and get a can of latex paint, cover their hives with latex paint, and think, hey, I protected my hive. Now latex paint is great for something like trim on a house or a shed or something that's not gonna be moving around or getting scratched or scraped. Because once paint gets chipped on a house, and water and moisture gets behind that paint. They say that latex paint breathes, but water can get trapped behind paint. It goes into the grain of the wood. Then you have hot, cold, expansion, contraction, and that wood just starts to rot and split behind the paint. Now think about a beehive. You paint this box, you put it out there, everything's okay. But then you start going at this thing with a hive tool. You're lifting it up, you're dropping it on the ground. The edges down here at the tops are getting chipped and worn. And what's the most vulnerable part of the wood on a beehive? It's these open end grain edges, and that's the part that flakes off first. You get water in that end grain there, and you're just gonna split your hive boxes. So I think the key to extending the life of a piece of wood outdoors is to prevent water from getting into the end grain of the wood and also, if water does get in there, to let it get out and let it dry out over time so that you don't have water sitting in there during the winter time when the wood is expanding. So the two things I use to take care of that are one, the awnings, which diverts the water just away from the wood in the first place, and two, the treatment I use on the wood. So this is the stuff. This stuff is awesome. This is a penetrating wood sealer. It soaks into the wood. It dries in about an hour. Um, you can do two coats immediately and then let it soak in there and just dry. It hardens up and it doesn't change the color of the wood at all. And it just is great to use. So this stuff comes from Vermont and it is called Polyway is the material inside this. And it's derived from recycled and renewable whey, which is a byproduct of cheese making. Durable, safe finish, it protects from UV rays, mold, mildew, and it seals the grain of the wood, so water is not penetrating into the wood. So this isn't super cheap, but it's not that much more than paint. A gallon of this was like $65 US, and I don't know if you've looked at what exterior paint prices are these days, but 
that's about what a gallon of paint costs these days. Um, I got a quart of it at first, and a quart of it did about 15 medium size hive boxes. And this was like 16 bucks. So like a dollar a box, roughly, to paint my mediums. And that was for two coats on the outside. And then I got some more hive boxes and stuff to paint, so I went and got a gallon because this stuff lasts a long time and it doesn't dry up like paint. So this should be good for a few years. So let me just show you a couple tips I found after doing about uh, 25 different hive boxes with this stuff. So it's very, very fluid. It goes on like water. So the thing about this stuff is you're supposed to put two coats on but you can't let the coat dry because once it dries, nothing penetrates the wood. So you have to get two coats on before it dries. So you gotta work kind of fast. And I just start right on the end grain and put a bunch of the stuff right on the end grain. And it just soaks right into the wood. and just get it on there really fast. And it seems like no matter how much you put on, it all just soaks in. So get it on. All right, and then while it's still wet, you just do your second round. Like you can, this is already, this is my, this is the side I started on and it's already drying up. It's soaking right into the wood. You wanna get in there fast because once this stuff dries, it will not soak in anymore. So another thing to know about this stuff is you can't put this on top of something that's already been stained or painted. Uh, it needs to be brand new wood. That's when it works best because you want this to soak into the grain, the real dry grain. The best time to apply this stuff is on a brand new box. So you can make this stuff just as wet as you want. What soaks in will soak in and what dries won't hurt the wood. And just to be totally clear, this is not an ad in any way. I'm not being paid to say this. I bought this myself. This wasn't even sent to me. Um, it's just a product I really, really like. My first season, I coated my first hive, my flow hive, with tongue oil. Man, that stuff goes on really sticky and gross, and then it takes like 12 months to dry or something. And while it's drying, it just kind of turns black. It's just, it's just not a not a good. So I went to the hardware store. I knew I didn't want to use paint and I found this. I got this at my local Ace Hardware. Not every Ace Hardware is gonna have this. I know you can order it online. Uh, I, I think it's a relatively new product and I, I don't know what their distribution's like, but Vermont Natural Coatings, they have a website. They have all kinds of other products, but the exterior penetrating wood stain. That's the one I like the best. All right, so that's it. Hopefully it's gonna be spring here pretty soon and I'll be able to open up the hives and hopefully they're gonna start bringing in nectar because any day now, we're gonna start seeing dandelions and flowers and apple trees. And uh, yeah, the season will begin. So thanks for watching. Happy beekeeping. <laughs>